Welcome back. The steel pan is one of Trinidad and Tobago's most significant cultural inventions. It is an instrument that is well revered across the nation, especially during the carnival season, with events such as Panorama showcasing the wonders of the steel pan. Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts Randall Mitchell presented the National Instrument Bill 2024 at yesterday's House of Representatives session. He highlighted the cultural significance of the steel pan and the benefits of officially declaring it as the nation's national instrument. Ariana Scipio has the story. Minister Mr. Randall Mitchell noted that in 2012, BBC News highlighted the steel pan for its simplicity and 12 years later, in 2023, the United Nations declared August 11th World Steel Pan Day. This instrument serves as an important thread in our cultural tapestry that weaves together our diverse identities and experiences, a central element of both our tangible and intangible heritage. Minister Mitchell said this would strengthen the country's national identity and continuity and foster greater understanding and respect for the cultural diversity within and beyond its borders. He continued by saying that the steel pan continues to be a wonder and a source of national pride, describing the instrument as a mainstay of the country's annual carnival celebration. This bill and policy was crafted in close consultation with key stakeholders, including but not limited to the world governing body, Pan Trinbago, Dr. Mia Gormandi of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, and other stakeholders within the steel pan industry. Minister Mitchell thanked the executive and the members of Pan Trimbegu. He noted that last year, during the first parliamentary sitting of the fourth session, President Christine Carla Kangaloo called for the steel pan to be declared as Trinidad and Tobago's national instrument. This bill will significantly enhance our international marketing strategies for the steel pan, as well as for our local culture generally, helping us to truly and unapologetically exploit the power allure and mystique of our musical instrument. The Minister of Tourism said the designation of a national instrument marks a vital moment in the nation's journey towards celebrating and preserving Trinidad and Tobago's identity. And now more than ever, the nation has arrived at this juncture wherein it is primed to better commit our resources and focus our attention on the cultivation and enrichment of its cultural landscape to safeguard the legacy acquired. This endeavor is in harmonious accord with the overarching objectives of Vision 2030 and the national cultural policy, embracing our traditions, honoring the artistry and craftsmanship that molded our musical landscape. Minister Mitchell noted that this legislation will establish a definitive claim on the steel pan, an innovation that was created in Trinidad and Tobago. Though the opposition had some concerns, such as believing the bill should have been passed long ago, they supported it and thus the National Music Instrument Bill was passed, officially declaring the steel pan Trinidad and Tobago's national instrument. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News.